Thomas Pocklington Trust logo. What do we see? How the world looks to blind and partially sighted people. Hello, my name is Darren Pascal and I'm the Technology Information Champion at Thomas Pocklington Trust. Today we are going to use augmented reality to simulate how the world looks through the eyes of people who are visually impaired as they go about their everyday lives. There are many different sight conditions, but the most common in the UK today are cataracts, diabetic retinopathy, retinitis pigmentosa, hemianopia, age-related macular degeneration, and glaucoma. Levels of visual impairment vary from person to person, can deteriorate over time, and in some cases can even fluctuate throughout the day. In this video, we will show each of these conditions with increasing levels of severity. You can watch this as one continuous video or select the condition or conditions of greatest interest to you. At the end, we will provide links on where to find out more about the conditions and the work of Thomas Pocklington Trust. Cataracts. The first condition we would like to show you is cataracts. For this condition and all of those shown in this video, we have sped up the deterioration for you to get a better impression of what it's like to live with each as they have progressed. As we outline what it is, who can get it and how it affects vision, you will see what this looks like from the perspective of the person with the condition. So, what are cataracts? A cataract is a clouding of the lens in your eye which sits behind your iris, the coloured part of your eye. Normally, your lens is clear and helps to focus the light entering your eye. Developing cataracts will cause your sight to become cloudy and misty. They usually affect both eyes but can affect just one eye and then the other later. Developing cataracts is most commonly a result of growing older. Most people start to develop cataracts after the age of 65, but people in their 40s and 50s can also develop them. Cataracts can affect babies and young people, though this is much less common than in adults. Cataracts normally develop very slowly. At first, the changes they make to your sight may be difficult to notice, but as they worsen, you'll start to notice symptoms, such as You feel like your glasses are dirty and need cleaning even when they don't Your sight is misty and cloudy You're more sensitive to light Bright sunlight or car headlamps may glare more As you can see from our simulation here, everything looks a little more washed out and cloudy than it should Eventually, almost all people with cataracts will find that their sight has turned misty or cloudy. Things have become difficult to see all of the time. There's nothing you can do to stop cataracts from developing or getting worse, but they can be treated by surgery. This removes the cloudy lens and replaces it with an artificial lens. Diabetic retinopathy Type 1 and type 2 diabetes are long-term health conditions that can affect vision in different ways. The most common cause of sight loss in those with diabetes is diabetic retinopathy. It occurs as a result of damage to the network of blood vessels supplying the retina at the back of the eye. Diabetic retinopathy can affect anybody with any type of diabetes at any age. The overall prevalence of diabetes and diabetic retinopathy has increased steadily over the last 10 years. Those living in the most deprived areas of the country and those from a South Asian or African Caribbean background are two to four times more likely to have it. How it affects vision depends on the severity of the changes to the blood vessels supplying the retina and varies from person to person. Diabetes can cause blood vessels to become blocked, leak, or to grow incorrectly, thus reducing overall blood supply to the retina. The body tries to fix this by growing new blood vessels, but unfortunately these new vessels are weak and bleed very easily, which affects vision. Typically this will result in blurring of vision, 
blind spots or floaters appearing on certain parts of the retina. You'll see here the vision has blurred significantly and there are floaters. Depending on where they form, this can make it difficult to do a whole range of things including navigate independently, recognize faces, read a computer screen or standard print. Different forms of laser treatment can be used depending on how much of the retina is affected. Retinitis pigmentosa Retinitis pigmentosa, RP, is the name given to a group of inherited eye conditions called retinal dystrophies. RP affects the retina at the back of the eye and over time stops it from working causing gradual but permanent changes that reduce vision. How much vision is lost, how quickly and the age it begins depends on the type of RP someone has. Anyone can get RP as it is hereditary. About half of people with RP have another family member with the condition, but around half of people with RP don't know of family members with the condition. This may be because their relatives are carriers of RP but haven't shown signs of the condition. RP is a progressive condition. Sight will worsen over time. These changes in sight can happen gradually or suddenly over a short period of time. Typically someone with RP will need to keep readapting to lower levels of sight throughout their lifetime. The first symptom someone may notice is not seeing as well as others in dim light at dusk or at night. This is often called night blindness. They may also start having problems seeing things in their peripheral or side vision causing them to trip over or bump into things. As RP progresses, it leaves a central narrow field of vision. This is often referred to as tunnel vision. As you can see from our simulation, the field of vision has narrowed, leaving a tunnel of vision in the center. Someone may still have central vision until they are in their 50s or 60s or older. However, in its most advanced stages, RP also affects central vision making it difficult to read print or recognize faces. While much progress has been made over the past few years in the understanding of the genes involved in RP, there is currently no cure or treatment which can slow down or stop RP from getting worse. Hemianopia Hemianopia can be caused by brain trauma, the most common of which is related to stroke. Damage to the visual pathways connecting the brain and the eye causes the loss of one half of the visual field. Hemianopia can result in someone being unable to see to either the left or right from the center of their field of vision in both eyes. For example, if someone has a stroke to the right side of their brain, they may develop field loss on the left side of their vision in both eyes. As you can see from our simulation here, the left field of vision has been lost in both eyes, meaning only certain parts of the image are visible. The extent of sight loss varies from person to person and depends on the area of the brain that has been affected by the stroke. Around two-thirds of people who have a stroke experience some form of vision loss or difficulty in seeing, including hemianopia. Strokes are most common in people aged over 65, but around a quarter of people who have a stroke are of working age. They can also affect children, though this is much less common. Increased risk factors include people of African, Caribbean and South Asian descent, a family history of stroke, lifestyle choices including smoking and drinking alcohol, other medical conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure. Treatment of hemianopia tends to take the form of rehabilitation and training to help make the most of the remaining vision rather than surgery or medication. As the brain heals and with treatment some people will recover vision while others are left with permanent sight loss. 
age-related macular degeneration. Age-related macular degeneration, AMD, is a form of macular dystrophy. The macula, which is part of the retina at the back of the eye, contains millions of cone cells. These cone cells allow you to see fine detail for things like reading, writing and recognising colours. When someone develops AMD, the cone cells become damaged and stop working as they should. There are two main types of AMD, wet and dry. Wet AMD causes sight loss more rapidly than the more common dry AMD. It usually affects both eyes, though not always at the same time. As the name suggests, macular degeneration is most typically associated with ageing and is most common in those over 65. There are other forms of macular dystrophy that occur in children and younger people like Stargardt syndrome. And while this affects vision in much the same way as AMD, it is far less common. AMD does not cause complete loss of sight. It affects the central vision, which can become distorted or blurry. Eventually, a blank patch may appear. This lack of central vision makes reading, recognising faces or watching television more difficult. As you can see from our simulation, a blank patch or black spot has formed on the central vision, making it difficult to see detail. But side vision is unaffected. Turning your head to the side, however, cannot make up for the loss of central vision as your peripheral vision does not convey as much detail as the middle of the retina. Everyone can have slightly different symptoms, but typically the first thing people notice is greater difficulty seeing detail. Straight lines may start to look distorted, wavy or bumpy. They may also have increased sensitivity to bright light. There is no treatment for dry AMD, but there is some evidence of certain vitamins and minerals helping to slow its progression. Treatment is available for wet AMD using medication which minimises further damage to sight. In some instances, people can be retrained to see detail and objects without using their central vision. For more information on this, visit the Macula Society website, macularsociety.org, or call its helpline on 0300 30 30 111. Glaucoma. The eye needs a certain amount of pressure to keep the eyeball healthy and in the right shape. But if the pressure is too high, it can cause the optic nerve to become damaged at the point where it leaves the eye. This damage is called glaucoma. It can occur at any age, but is more common as people get older. It occurs in 2% of people over the age of 40, increasing to almost 10% of people over the age of 75. A person is at a higher risk of developing some form of glaucoma if they have a close blood relative, such as a parent who has it, or they are black or from an East Asian ethnic background. Glaucoma affects the side vision first, and if untreated, can result in a narrowing of the visual field or blind spots forming on the outer edges of sight. It produces misty or blurry patches in the vision, or missing details such as objects and people around the periphery. This is because your brain fills in content based on what it can see around the field defects. As you can see from our simulation, items from the peripheral vision are no longer apparent, but all of the objects are still on the desk. This is because the brain is filling in the content based on what it can see. It knows logically the desk will extend to left and right and so fills this in, but may not include the objects and items that are there. For this reason, many people with glaucoma may not realise they have the condition until their vision has significantly deteriorated. In more severe cases, central vision can be affected too. This causes blind spots to appear when looking straight ahead, which makes it harder to recognise faces, watch TV 
or read a newspaper. Vision lost due to glaucoma cannot be restored, but once diagnosed, it is possible for further deterioration to be prevented. Most commonly, this is through the long-term use of eye drops, and less commonly, through laser treatment and surgery. We hope you have found this view of how the world looks for many blind and partially sighted people to be interesting and insightful. We also hope it will help inform the work you do alongside or in support of people who are visually impaired. You might be interested to watch our other videos which show how assistive technology enables blind and partially sighted people to perform roles in the workplace as well as their fully sighted colleagues. These can be found on Thomas Pocklington Trust's YouTube channel. To find out more about Thomas Pocklington Trust and our work in the areas of employment, education, engagement and technology, visit our website pocklington-trust.org.uk. We have a number of case studies on the employment area of our website showcasing careers people with vision impairment are pursuing and the small adjustments their employers needed to put into place to enable them to thrive. Finally, to find out more about the eye conditions in this video, please visit rnib.org.uk forward slash eye hyphen health forward slash eye hyphen conditions. Thanks for your time. If you think this video would be useful for other colleagues, please do share this with them. With thanks to RNIB and Glaucoma UK in the making of this video.